His heavy brow overshadows the empty recesses that normally embrace eyes. Jarek has the uncanny power to absorb and overshadow one's connection to the Force, like a dark cloud. A deep, empowering grasp of your will is what you need. All right, guys, so one thing that I did wrong previously, first let's get out of his way before he starts wailing on us, um, is that I underestimated the power of Force protection, so we're going to go ahead and pop that. And then we can run up on him, and he pretty much can't do any damage to us, for the most part. But I do need to make sure that I get out of his way before it disappears. Let's back off. I'm not taking any chances with the shield disappearing, because he will use force destruction and force lightning like crazy. Alright, backing off. So he's more than likely blocking just about every one of my hits. Um, so this can take quite a while to win. Alright, we're taking some heavy fire here. He's over there. Let's wait for the shield to drop. Go get him. Oh, he's going up. So what is going to happen, at least if he's doing what I think he's doing, these statues should start moving momentarily. Oh, nope, he's not doing that. Woo! Thought we were a little farther along than we actually are. Okay, come on, force protection, drop. There we go. I'm always really paranoid about that because he will demolish me in seconds if I'm not careful. Jarek is pretty tough. There he is. Let's back off. Woo! We're getting hit. Come here. Jarek. So we're just going to keep this process up until he does things a little bit differently. Okay, now I think maybe he's doing what I thought he was going to do. Here it goes. So we need to press these buttons. We need to be quick about it. And now we can run up here. We should be able to smack him, knock him down. Oh, crap. It's okay. We have some back to tanks I can use. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot here. That means we are past the halfway mark for the fight. Where are you, Jarek? There he is. Let's get him. We just need to wail on him for a little while, and he'll be dead. But if we hadn't uh, toppled those statues before, bad things would have happened. He would have healed himself. Let's see, was there any more healing items? No, that's not what we need. He's a back to tank. Oh ho ho ho! 
Trying to use your force destruction on me, are you? All right, let's back off. Whoa! Is he going to heal again? Whoa, what's happening? I guess he can do this thing more than once. There we go. Come on, Jack. Come and get me. Oh, crap. There he is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. good timing. Shouldn't have too much more to go here. Oh, he's moving the things again. No, sir. Ow. I really got to get better at that. We've got to take him out quickly here. I'm just going to keep hitting the shield button rapidly. Did some heavy damage there. There we go. We're back in the game. Why won't you die, buddy? I don't recall this fight taking this long. There he goes. All right, guys, that was the end of the game. Strike me down, and the power of the dark side will be yours. I'm sure you haven't forgotten. I was the one who murdered your father. No, I haven't. Thank you, Father.
All right, guys, so that was the end of Star Wars Dark Forces 2. Where do I begin with my comments here? I mean, really, it's a it's a great, solid game. I really enjoy the uh, live-action cutscenes that they used to do. I kind of wish they would do some more of that stuff again. Um, I know it's cheesy, and but I could see some indie developers, you know, doing something like that. I think someone actually did do that not too long ago. Uh, really, the only thing I didn't care for in the game, so... Uh, that's probably what I'll talk about, would be the lightsaber fights. Um, I don't know, they just feel really clunky to me. I, I just feel like I'm walking up and, and just slashing at the air hoping that I hit my opponent because it's just not a lot of collision detection, I guess. I, I can't, I have no feedback. I can't tell whether or not I'm hitting them or they're hitting me. Um, it's just a mess of lightsaber, lightsaber waving and then backing away <laughs> to heal. Um, and I, I, I could have done without that. I just, I didn't find that too interesting. But the actual level design for the first person shooter segments of the game is great. I love that. I really hope that we'll see more games like that in the future. And I really hope that they perfect the lightsaber combat. I feel like there's something there. Uh, and I heard that Jedi Academy does it a little bit better, but I don't know. I, from what I've played of these games, I never found the lightsaber combat to be all that fluid or great in my personal opinion. So as always, guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing, for watching all these videos. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.